G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can organize your puzzles really easily like this into their events. So I've got them here, I've got all the end by ends and all the side events. These are the ones I use the most and as you can see every time you go into a different session it comes up with all of my times for that specific event. It may not be as obvious first glance so I'm going to show you. I'm going to start a new session and let's get started. So here we are in like a whole new browser. I'm just in incognito mode. Right now, this is what CS Timer looks like as soon as you start it up for the first time. And as you can see, we've defaulted to three by three. We've got the tool down here with the scramble. And as you can see, all the sessions are just numbers. This is probably what yours looks like at the moment. I'm gonna show you how to change these. So we're going to have the numbers to be corresponding to what the puzzle is. So two is gonna be two by two, three is gonna be three by three, so on. And then I'll talk about the side events in a second. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna get three by three. And as you can see up the top here, we have three by three as our event, easy. We're going to go to two by two now, and we're going to change this to two by two. Now this cell still says two, and how we're gonna change that is click on this here, session. And as you can see, it comes up here. Now the two by two that's right here, we're going to go over here, rename, and then we're going to call this two by two. And as you can see, we've changed the name to two by two, and then it says the scramble is two by two right here. And obviously there's no solves, there's no mean in a thing just now. But now if we go into session, you can see that we've renamed that to two by two. So if we go to three by three, we can change this one as well. Rename, let's call it three by three. And there we go. So that one's three as well. Now we can do this for everything. However, you need to go to this, change the scramble first. You can do these all at the same time. So six, seven, whoops. Nope, we want six to be six by six, and then seven to be seven by seven. And there we go, so session, and then we can change the name of these, rename, seven by seven. And so now you can see we have two to seven by seven. Now we do have this one at the top, that's easy, we can click on this and then just click delete. And then we've just starting with two. Now what we can do is we can start adding in the other events. So for eight, we could make this say, um, skewb. And then for session nine, we can make this pyraminx. And session 10, we can make this uh, megaminx. But as you can see, it's a quick fix. And now each time you do a three by three solve, it won't mess up any of the others and you can just start it instantly, just like so. And so now when you get a time, it'll come up in your three by three. And if you wanna do a four by four solve, you get the idea. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know if this was helpful. I sure use this every day. CS time is the best timer in my opinion. And I think a lot of other cubers agree. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.